Okay, everybody, welcome back. I want to give you an update on the barn door. One of them, anyway. It's up. Uh, shout out to Fisher Doors for installing it. Uh, it is delaminating right there. They know about that, so they're going to change the panel when we get that one put in over there. But this is a big help right now. And um, I want to show you guys. This is a 22 by 13 foot door. I had to put this side door in. Um, they wanted me to get the electric motor for another 1200 bucks. But honestly, you gotta see how good this works without it. These giant springs up here really have a lot of tension on it. And you see, this is the lock for it. Pull it down. I'm going to do it one hand. One hand. Yeah, you don't need an electric motor. Save the 1200 bucks. I like it. Keep some of the birds out right now. But uh, this fell down during winter, if you guys remember. And we had to move it, get it out of the way, and then trim the openings, uh, square everything up, and make sure they had a good working, uh, a good nice square plum opening so they can install it. They did it in about a couple hours, two guys, and uh, definitely keeps a lot of the critters out. So. And I'll give you a little update on this. We started grading this out a little bit more so we could try and get, at least we could pull the hay wagons in here now, drop them, back them in with the skid steer. And then we're trying to get uh, a clearing open over here so we can bring the enclosed trailer in and just load the bales right in the barn instead of loading them up at our other barn down the block. Um, the enclosed trailer is too steep to get in this opening and it bottoms out so we're trying to go around the quonset uh probably a little more grading to do here and we'll get it in should be good all right guys well just keeping you guys updated uh thanks for watching talk to you later